Hey y'all, hey. It's me, Godiva Empress. And how are y'all doing? Fun facts about Virgos. And this applies to Virgo men and Virgo women. Virgo is Latin for the word virgin. Number two, Virgo is the sixth astrological zodiac sign. And it just so happens six is my favorite number. Another fun fact about the Virgo, our ruling body part is the stomach, digestive system, appendix, and pancreas. That's the Virgo's most sensitive and vulnerable body part. A lot of Virgos will have stomach issues. They'll have random cramping, digestive issues, IBS. I was diagnosed with something. I forgot what it is. It's some type of stomach disorder or something. How many Virgos have you met that don't have stomach issues? So no Virgos, you are not alone with the stomach issues. We here, we're together. And it's weird because <laughs> in relationships, like you know how you wanna cuddle and lay on each other. Well, if somebody lays on me and lays on my stomach, my stomach has this thing. It has a tendency to just rumble on its own, not being gassy, not being hungry. It just makes a lot of noise. And I'm like, why does my stomach, it's loud for absolutely no reason. I don't know who else's stomach does this. It could be, it, I don't even have to be uncomfortable. It just makes a lot of noise. In addition to that, this Virgo, like watch what I eat because my stomach didn't want to digest certain things. So my high intake of beef, that stopped a while ago because it takes a long time for my stomach to break it down and then it constipates me and that's a whole nother story. And that's another issue Virgos may have with the stomach area that it backs us up. If you haven't, go see a doctor, make sure everything's okay. Everything's okay with me, I'm good. I just had to watch what I eat because my body doesn't digest everything like it used to. Virgos can be obsessed with health. Virgos can be obsessed with weight. So you'll know a lot of Virgos, they will exercise or if they're not consistent off and on, you'll see they're in or out the gym because they have a desired weight for themselves. It has nothing to do with what other people think about them. Virgos have a desired weight, a desired healthiness that they like for themselves. It has nothing to do with family telling them what to do, friends telling them how great they look or don't look, Virgos know how they like themselves to look and feel. So you'll see a lot of Virgos that work out, exercise, or they're vegetarians, they're vegans, pescatarians, like they'll watch what they eat because Virgos can be obsessed with how they are physically or how they are health-wise in general. And that takes me to another fun fact about Virgos. Virgos can be hypochondriacs. Preventative, they are not reactive, so we try to prevent things from happening. So as soon as we see a symptom, you don't have to worry about us taking it and waiting too far. As soon as we see a symptom, we're going to the doctor. If we haven't diagnosed ourselves, hypochondriac, a little toxic trait about us, but yeah, Virgos need to know what's going on with their bodies because if not, that yeah, they, they can take it to a whole nother level. Which brings me to my next fun fact about Virgos. Virgos can take a small situation and make it a big situation. We can take a molehill and make a mountain. That goes back to that hypochondriac, like it could be something so small, something as simple as a mole on my finger. Can y'all see that? I don't think you can because it's trying to focus on my face. Y'all see that? And we can think that maybe we need to go get that checked out because it might be the start of cancer. Mole hill to a mountain. But in order for the larger picture to look right, you have to pay attention to the small details, correct? So Virgos paying attention to those small details can sometimes come across as doing too much because we're trying to prevent certain things from happening or we're trying to make sure that stuff goes as smooth as possible. But to us, it starts with the small things. People can have an idea of this grand party, this grand whatever, but we know the steps that it takes to make that. So we start at the very bottom because we know if the foundation is weak, there's not too much that can happen to the rest of the plan. It, it may seem like a small deal to everybody else, but Virgo knows this is the very intricate part of the whole process. So no, we do make some of the small things a big deal because it, it can be. So we're trying to be preventive. Y'all got that? 
Another fun fact about my Virgoans is Virgos are generous. We are not known to be selfish. We are givers, especially the female Virgo. We like to give. We don't mind sharing, especially if we love you. Even though we're represented by this delicate, untouched woman in this white dress, pure, beautiful, Virgos can be very vulgar. Don't let the Virgo fool you. Virgo's vocabulary can change from sweet, nice, to vulgar and nasty, drastically. Virgo is known to be a very prim, a very refined sign, very refined. If annoyed, we can change beyond recognition. So that's part of the Virgo you don't even wanna see. Virgos can be cycled, so we keep that hidden. Another fun fact. Virgos can take it on a fire level sign or beyond. The difference is we're too refined for that and we prefer not to. They can be savage to the point where it's, it's nothing cool about it. Another fun fact you say, sure. Virgos need mental stimulation. I don't care if they're physically attracted to you, emotionally attracted to you, all of those things. If there's no mental stimulation, your relationship is gonna be short-lived with the Virgo. Virgo and I believe Gemini is the other zodiac sign that needs mental stimulation. Has to have it. And if we feel like we're not getting mentally stimulated, you're done. If a Virgo is not mentally stimulated, they will lose interest quick. So when we're having a conversation and you wanna just talk about ratchetness, you wanna gossip, you wanna be in everybody's business but your own, we can entertain it but we don't like to entertain it but so much because we don't really care about other people's business. Well, the business we care about is where they work at. Can I network with them? How much are they making? How can I do what they're doing? If I ask them how they got there, do you think they'll tell me? Virgos care about that business. The little raggedy, oh, somebody shot somebody. Like I said, we find gossip entertaining, but it's nothing that we wanna talk about all day. That's like, Ten, that needs to be five five to ten percent of our conversation. The rest of it, can we talk about business? Can we talk about ideas? Can we talk about family? Can we talk about politics? Mental simulation. So that includes good conversation as well. I gotta take my son to this doctor's appointment. I will see you guys later. Until next time, it's me, Godiva Empress. Subscribe, 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 dear. Like, comment, bye y'all. Love y'all. Peace!